I have everything done. I kind of want to listen to one more song after this, though. <laughs> There's one in the way, though, that I have to skip. And X5 really has a an awesome intro song for Zero. Too bad 90% of players start with X. And X's intro song is... One of my least favorites. <laughs> like, I love how beautiful this theme is when... Uh, like the version when Zero's... Like, losing energy. About to die. Because you can definitely hear that it's this song, but... A sadder... A slower version. This is a nice closing uh, song for Zero. I mean, if you think about it, in X4 and X5, the two playable characters' theme songs are the intro songs. Like the intro stage songs, because. I mean, in both games. It's a little snippet of it when you beat a boss or beat a stage and during the ending. Oh, and Zero's um, intro stage song. I'll skip this one. Sorry, Infinity Virginian. <laughs> I just want to hear Lazy Mind again. I literally forgot that this song was here because of X Legacy replacing it. Because I guess all the Japanese vocal songs that were introduced, even instrumental, were like copyrighted. Yeah, because Moonlight and then the answer and the ending theme for X6 are all replaced. Which really sucks. I mean, it's not awful, but... Why can you not love this here? for this screen. And X7 has a banger soundtrack. Sadly underrated because the game is despised. There's a reason why it's why people see it as the Sonic 06 of Mega Man games. But you already know what game I see as the worst one in the series. I need to finish that second part video. But I've been focusing on the zero video. <laughs> Too much. My streams have been not exactly very... Dang, cool. Well, it is a face class, so... <laughs> it is fitting. Um, I wasn't ready there. Sorry, Tornado Tunyon. Your song is also awesome, but... Yeah, my streams haven't really been 
to eventful with viewers. I think the last four streams I've had like under 10 people watching. Last stream I was surprised because three people watched like through all of it, which I'm very thankful for. But I'm just curious what happened because I used to like for for the I don't know when, but I started having like up to I guess between 50 and 100 views per stream. But now I'm back to being under 10 or above 10. Oh well. I'm not exactly doing this for views. I'm doing this because I can. I like revisiting favorite games. Why not have others view it if they want to? I really like this a little description for the game before you start it. And that adds to it, it's really cool. I should look into how old this game is, because you're yeah, not gonna Google it right away. Metroid Prime. Oh damn! It'll be... It'll be 20 years old in a month and four days. Maybe I should have saved this game for them. God, 20 years old though, jeez! some things I mean I saved I saved near I saved at this save point right here just so I would be close to uh, but then again, was the closest one and I was tired. we're gonna go on little scavenger hunts before we head into the caves oh god the map I need to head in here because of the little cave area there. Because I can go there with a the morph ball. Oh, that's close by. There's also... Wow! I like how this, where you start, there's literally a magma room ne right next to it. No, it's over here. Well, there's a hidden section right here. Uh, this is the main hub, pretty much. Um, yes, here's one. The little horseshoe, as I called it yesterday. <laughs> There's the Magmar Cameron's entrance. There's the vault I... I said I was embarrassed by taking so long to unlock. Um, that's where I jumped down. I know there's one more I need to... I want to explore. I think it's the Magma Pool, actually. No, it has to be over here. Yeah, here, here. It's probably not going to be anything good, because I need to gain some height there. Let's check it either way. Burn dome. That sounds cool. Oh yeah, that's um where I fought the flame for. That is such a weird location. Like you get into this acid room, like getting ready to do the puzzle to go through the whole room, doing a little trial to gain access to the furnace. But then you like first you have to head off into a whole different section. That's pretty cool. 
Um, magma pool. Magma pool, ruin shrine, ruined gallery, and watery hall. All right. Three life tanks is pretty good. Because as you can see, it's, um... Looks to be like ten more. I'm guessing eleven, actually. Go away. I hate you. Oh yeah, I'm back to my good mic. Ow! I didn't have to destroy your home, but I did because I hate you. like the power up I remember the most because it was such a cool way. Like it's so obvious. It's just a little cave you can take here. It's the most memorable hidden power up to me. Oh yeah the water is nice. Because I've defeated Flar Flarga? Flagra. Yeah. Totem. Oh, I should have went here last because it's the way to the teleporter. No, let's actually see if I can, if I need to go back to the boss arena first, or if I can take this place. A little bit of a detour, going back and forth. It must be like you can see yourself. I don't know. Record the game and then watch you run around like Samus run around this place. That'd be cool. Oh, I thought it was a lock. -on. This is such a chill song. Oh, I see. Wait, I have freedom to like. Oh. Okay. I know for a fact that there has to be some. Some secret in here. It's just always a secret. Or maybe not. Well, I can take the same way I did yesterday. Thing you scan has like text for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, they have to. <laughs> you go to the Great Bridge of Merlin. Is it Merlin? That sounds like Merlin. I don't know. I don't think they I don't know. You don't get to go there with Magic Leap, I know. Sounds cool though. That little trail. Oh yeah, here's the vault. That was a little puzzle I had to go through here. I had to use some more full bomb to make it go into three cases. Destroy two of them. Destroy two of them. Why did it take this so why do I remember it being so Where the health tank I showed is, and there's no way to go back, so. Eh. Let's 
still can't dis get this one because of the half pipe. this area. I think you get the super missiles here. There is one, like, it's one, like, beam upgrade, I remember. Because, oh, I think I mentioned it yesterday. There's a mini boss here, too. I love it when, like, a mini boss turns into an enemy in some areas. That's cool. I remember in Silent Hill, too. Um, the enemy in that in the room with Angela, which uh, is heavily hinted to be the monster that Angela played. Yeah, that room right. That room and we fight that thing is probably the most disturbing. Just finding out what it's supposed to be is very dark. It's really, really freaky and disgusting, so... Ugh. Well, whatever. The the boss you fight, when you get to the... Um, when you get to the hotel at the end, you actually see, like, two of them as regular enemies, and it really shouldn't make sense, because it's supposed to be an Angela monster. Um... But... Hey, we did a full circle. Cool. I'm just going in a direction without... Well, this is the only way. Other than here. I think... Oh, this is the wrong way. Yeah... I looked in... I, um... Looked into a lot of the development from Silent Hill 2, and I think the the reason why you see that enemy there or boss, I think word for word is because it's a game. But that really doesn't make sense. Oh yeah, something similar is Pyramid Head, and uh, like when you get chased by him in the hospital basement. That little corridor. He has a spear then, and he you don't see him with the sword anymore in the game after that. And I think it was hinted that he would get the spear after James looks at the, the photo, no, the painting of Pyramid Head, which might be where he originated. This James saw it when he was inside the place. hinted that he gets the spear after James sees Pyramid Head with the spear in the painting. But he uses the spear before that in the hospital, so... And again, that was because of game development. Oh, I see. I need the spider ball. Yeah, now it's fine for Samus to get in here. Before it was acid. Yeah. 
I can go in there, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need to grab some more cards. I still can't do problems here. Yeah, I went I went in here and immediately went out because I'm not having to do this. I got a more vlog right over. Yep, I knew it. I have to get the grappling hook. There's no way I can jump up there. Can I... Can I track them from here? No, so far. Hold on. Oh, that was cool. I actually hit it. <laughs> This is such a chill game, I love it. I can just talk about stuff that's on my mind and just make progress. Uh, I do get sidetracked, which is don't focus on the time soon when I get too into it. Hell, I went on talking about sidetracks for some reason. Oh yeah, because a mini boss became a minor enemy. Lovely water. Yeah, I remember it's this one right here. And I can't jump up there because I need to grab this. Gotta walk around them. Can I jump from here? Awesome. Again, this one might be for nothing as well. I'm probably gonna need the spider ball to gain the height. Hey, it's the area I remember most in the entire game. I don't know why this area is so... like, memorable to me. I mean, you do... you do get here... yeah, over here. A lot. I think you need to get back there twice, and... if you wanna get goodies, you're probably gonna... Well, this save room right here is the most useful one because of that, I think. Oh, I love this good song. I mean, yesterday when I was... Oh. I already know, I kind of wish... Like, I like this... Yeah, I like this uh, feature, but can I... I want to explore and go for side stuff. I don't want to know where everything is. Because I'm pretty sure it's not hard to find. Yet now I have things set on the map. Later upgrades are going to be tough to find. I just know the fact that I need to go back to... The overworld for when I have the booster ball and the gravity suit is pretty hard to find. All I know is there's it's a cave with water in it, and the suit is randomly on the water. This is such a cool room. It almost reminds me of the like room where you have to turn into the deck of scrub and fly around, like in a horseshoe. Again, I call it my horseshoe. Yeah, you have to fly around and turn around with lava below you in the stone tower temple. It's one of the most memorable rooms in that dungeon. Again, this smoke like you're gonna lead to nowhere. Gotta satisfy my curiosity, so I can know for a fact what's the what I need. <laughs> so I need morph ball, missiles, am I gonna need another one? Another upgrade? I don't really hope not. I was, I was right. I need the spider ball. Oh! 
I see. Oh, I love that. It gives me a reward anyways. Damn. It, it rewards my curiosity and memori just remembering it. And then I need to remember it again so I can go up and get the reward up there. That is so great. I love that. I get two rewards in here. One reward for going here. And one, another one. There's probably going to be a life tank up there because it's... Bigger tier upgrade. Oh, I love that. This is so cool. Okay, what? What's the last one I need? Uh. Can't go there. Okay, I. Dynamo? Cool. I've been there. Can't go here. Um, I've been to the Ruined Shrine. Maybe I have my mic all far. I don't know. The Horseshoe. Ruined Shrine. Horseshoe. Magma Pool. That's four. And I went after four. Alright. Magma Caverns it is. Eh. The Sun Chamber is the closest route, so... Let's go revisit, um... What's left of Flagra. I don't care. <laughs> I know the Wii version has the ability for, like, has an ability for the Morph Ball, so when you flick the Wii remote, you do a little bounce. And I know that's going to be very welcoming for a specific boss in Echoes, uh, the second Prime game. But when it comes to this one, I take I take going back to the version I played, the original version, over being able to flick the Wii mode when I get more fall bombs very early. I mean, you're supposed to use more fall bombs in that fight, anyways. It's just it's just it's so much easier and simpler and. That's probably the most complained about, or most disliked part of Echoes, I think. Because before that, the save point is far away, meaning if you die to the spider ball, boss... Um, which is likely, if you're not prepared for it, that means you have to do a lot of progress again. Probably the most commonplace people die on. You guys are so annoying. Go away. I do have to say, I'm, I'm really, I've really missed it. Like, I'm definitely gonna use it for games I can instead of a Wii mode. Well, for Prime Trilogy, it's I have to go to Wii mode because motion controls is. Literally made for Prime Trilogy. More? Go away! Me being impatient, but can you blame me? This is a slow section. Go away! Oh, I'm so gonna. I'm so not gonna miss you guys when I head to the Nightmore cameras. Go away, dude! You're not gonna. They pushed me down. Yesterday, oh, I think I s you saw that. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna go with the GameCube controller for. What Wii games are there I can play? I mean, the House of the Dead is. Definitely. I don't think GameCube controllers aren't even an option here because it's all motion controls. Uh, Skyward Sword is also motion controls. Sonic Colors, 
I really didn't enjoy much. I'm sorry to say it, but Sonic Colors is kind of whack. Uh, I think, I think, uh, I think. What? Oh, come on, don't do this to me. Don't tell me I can't go back in here just because the boss is dead. Are you kidding me? So I need to take the... But I know you can go back up here with the spider ball later on. Oh my god, that's so annoying. I took... Look how many rooms I have to go through. I have to go back to the Arbor... Arboretum. Go through here to the plaza. Go through this part, back to the boss, and then... Oh my god, this is so annoying. I don't care, get out of my way. I'm gonna climb the damn tree! With the bugs, for nothing. I know for a fact that I'm gonna use the game for Radiant Dawn. I really want to see have um, a Path of Radiance file ready for Radiant Dawn. What? I love how this for sure you there's no danger of fall damage in the fall. It's pretty adorable seeing it roll around. Man, they did an amazing job to just transitioning the morph ball into 3D. Everything is 3D. They did an incredible job. There's a reason why this game is so beloved. Man, this game was. I can't believe this game was bashed before it released and then it became such a huge. I can see where they were coming from. I didn't want their precious Metroid to turn into a first person shooter. But it really isn't. It's more of an adventure game, and I love that. Because every Metroid game is an adventure. More than a 2D platformer. Is there a Metroid game that's more of a shooter? Huh. How do I get it over there? I honestly forgot about that. Oh! Oh, I see, I see, I see. I think this is the way. I might need a double jump. Dang it, I... What it? Well, that's a little weird. It looks like something I should... Like noted. Remember. Yeah, because it's like it bounces off stuff. What? That's a weird little detail. <laughs> okay, let's fight you then. Again, the enemy looks very cool. Like, very well made, but everything around it, not so much. It's a nice little contrast. I like that. This is the wrong way. God, if I would have taken the horseshoe route last, I would have been into the caverns already. Up 
Go away, I already... I hate hearing them. Because there's so many in the time. Ah, more of them. Yes, fly into the wall. Because you can catch me. I'm just speedrunning this. Is this still acid? No, no. Flogger really affected this place. As I said, it's pretty much Woodfall Temple. <laughs> then again, it, the acid doesn't come from the boss, it's from the flower thing in the middle of the dungeon. So it is different in that way. Encoding overloaded. I don't care. Can I do a little jump here? this here? Is it like... That has me wondering if there's like a way to get like a goodie? It's like I can't be there for long enough? Oh, I see, I see. This is a little shortcut. Alright. It's time to get steamy. Salmon's is back to her old self. All because of those shoulder pads. They make her suit. <sighs> I really like how it goes from like... Yeah, this, this entrance here. You see how you... How you go from Chosa Ruins. the music here. I'm pretty sure this is a remix of Magma Area and the... Uh, I know it's in Super Mario, but the Warfare theme. It really makes you feel like you're going into the caverns like this. This is a really cool room here. I've just been hunting now goodies in the previous area, so I just entered this one. So, I haven't really missed much. It's just a tutorial. This is when it starts getting more. Ow. This is such a nice. Oh. Even the rocks here. I guess there's a build up to this song as well. Here we go, this is this is where the theme comes in. Yeah, this is I know for a fact that this is like I'm 
curious, what are these? Why is it only focusing on his head? I want to see his body. Uh, I can't wait till I get the next beam. It's definitely the coolest one. Do I think that's gonna... I know there's... Um, infant drama drips. I don't... I actually think we're gonna head there soon. We're not gonna focus so much on Magmar. Just head. <laughs> it's just a little. A little, um. Am I supposed to go here? Oh, yeah. I don't get it. Why. Why are you. Why can't I destroy. Such with the bomb, but not the missile. It's literally the same thing. Um, yeah, I love how the Metroid series is structured. Like, you can really tell that. Yeah, I went on about it yesterday, but backtracking is needed for the series because it's. Oh, yeah, this room right here. Yeah, this is kind of an example of what I'm saying, because if you had to double jump, I think you can jump over that and skip this whole underground part. I love stuff like that when you actually feel like... I think these will grab me. Let's see. Yeah. Oh my god, they're gonna push me out. That's so cute. <laughs> I can't do anything. I pressed... I tried to use the bomb the whole time. Dang it! Right at the start, then. I didn't have issues with them before. Oh, 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 my time. Why did this turn into a stealth section?
There's the hole. Right. Oh, this is a long one. This is a huge area. I'm gonna. It's gonna take like 20 seconds for them to push me out. This is here. <laughs> I love this. Uh. Oh, I see. So this is the way in. It looked like. Dang it. It looked like I could have made. Yeah, I just had to jump on platforms there. So the I just don't know which one is the right way. Let's find out for ourselves. Ow! I've been caught. I've been found. Oh cool. Safe way. Yeah. Favorite location in this game. Oh yeah, as I said yesterday, you can see here Samus's face. Uh, a couple ways. This is the easiest way to see it. Just, just a short shot. That is so cool. Oh, and let's add on to that because I know in Metroid Prime 3, um, Samus is sick. The face on, she gets covered by. This face on in her body and it's corrupting her. That's why the game is called Corru Corruption. And you can actually see, like, one side of her face late in the game, like, look freaky. So they added to that. That game is really cool. Well done. Why do I feel like I'm in Goron Mines from Twilight Princess now? <laughs> Yeah, because the beginning of the dungeon really literally has an area like this. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they were. Uh, it, was, it was released on GameCube, and that was a year later. I like this right here. Like, can I scan it? No, I can't even scan it. Is it? Weird, like, I want to know what that is. It looks like a war or something. Yet I can't scan it. It's cool. It's mysterious and I like it. The world building in this game is a different level. No, I don't need an escort out. That's not the way out. Oh, it's literally there. Is there a plus up point? Oh, that's so cute. He literally escorts me out. <sighs> yeah, it just leads to this area. Alright, so I... I pretty much beat this room here. Let's head on to... <laughs> well, I am happy I went to a specific direction. Just, just think of this, like, just think of this lava setting, and then look at Wind Waker's first dungeon. Like, it's the same theme, but, like, Wind Waker's style makes it look so much different, and it's on the same console, so... saying the GameCube was um, Nintendo's age of experimentation, because if you think about it, um, for Zelda they tried out the cell shading style, cutesy style, for this game they tried out a 3D adventure game, uh, there's Luigi's Mansion, Sunshine in a million way. The only big GameCube game that I can think of that didn't really go in a 
saying it's exactly like that. Oh yeah, how could I not mention this from right here? I, I'm definitely gonna return here a lot, because I remember it a lot. Hey! Come on. Am I gonna get the map? Ooh. Yes. Yes, this area. I need to remember this area, because right below me is... Oh, I'll, I'll never forget this. Yeah, this is similar to how you handle a room like this in Super Metroid. Yeah, if you played Super Metroid, you definitely should get the hint what you need to do here. I love that! It takes something from... And this is before Metroid, Super Metroid. Timeline-wise. Oh, I just love how it connects, even though it's not really connected to the other games. There are still signs. Yeah, you need to use a power bomb later on. And I'm pretty sure right under me is where you get the ice beam upgrade. Like the charge for it. Which definitely is the worst of the charges, but oh, I just love how it's hidden. It's such a powerful way to have an upgrade on the ground. I just love, love everything about this place here. I expect it to be far off way to the phase on lines, but no. Okay, where does this mean? I see a little hidden room there. How am I gonna get there? Which level is to the last room? That could be important. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. That could be the map or something. Hey! How do I break it? Because <laughs> that is definitely, uh, it's not even trying to hide that it's more ball related. I think that's going to be my way out. get clues of the look and the sign of the places. I have no clue how my audio is. It seems to be fine. Yeah, I have to keep track of game audio and... Ah! Any sound. And like, I don't know, lower and higher than pit, or higher than the pitch for that part. Like, maybe a duck going wah, 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 wah. <laughs> it's a simple song, yeah, it's very, very enjoyable. More? Okay, I know for a fact that, uh, that, uh, an endgame artifact is, um... Actually, I might be able to maybe get that one. Yeah, because I'm... Do you remember maybe getting it early last time we played this? I'm pretty sure there's going to be jetpack enemies in these areas later on. Yeah, just jump up here. I can't make that jump. Another doorway yet up there. I think that's to the Okay, I 
Okay, I can tell this is gonna be... Wow. I have to get up there? Another one? Ah, uh, it was too late. <laughs> I like this though, you have to do it twice in a row. And if you fail the second time, you have to start over. It's a nice little. get a goodie early, I'm gonna go for it. Because I'm gonna go for all of it at the end of the game anyways. Ah, oh, come on! I don't want to die here. No. You know, it would be perfect. Literally perfect. If, oh my god, that, that has to be worried that I have to do it one last time. Please have a safe room. Does this perhaps take me to Fendrana Drifts? Yeah, I was right. I need to go to Fendrana Drifts early. Yeah, you don't spend too long in the caverns, I see. Where does this lead? Ah, whatever, it's probably good. I'm just gonna go here to get the save room. And go back for the goodie. And then check. I think Vendrana Drips is the most impressive looking location in the game. How could you not love ice settings? Even if you hate ice physics, you can't deny this is sort of beauty to ice settings. And believe you me, this place really is quite the beauty. Please do not have anything. Look at this! I do have to admit, the snow is a little distracting. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, this level has two themes. I think this is, um... It does look like that Pokemon from Gen 6, Bergmite, I think. No, it's just... I do have to scan this, by the way. Yeah, and deeper parts of, like, the caves of Fendrana Drifts has, like, a very repetitive song. It's just a blast to listen to. It is so... sci fi -y. 
but at the same time... I'm sorry, Burnt Knight. I don't even know if that's the name of it. Okay, seeing as I need to go there... I hope this is a safe one. Oh yeah, you need to like infiltrate uh Ah You're gonna make my stream crash or something. No, get away from me! Don't you dare hurt me. Oh I hate this. Why did I get hit by it? I don't want to redo Magmar Caverns. It's hard to do it like this. It's it a cool enemy, though. A really cool enemy. I'm gonna stop. Please. Can I kill you again? I need it. This, this might even not even be a safe room. <gasps> thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm not, I'm not satisfied with that. I need more. I'm sorry, you guys are pretty much harmless, but that one really did any even drop. to fail three times no it was more than three times like five times <sighs> yeah it's gonna be another one yeah please have a safe room oh. <laughs> why not what is that little area there? I know there's gonna be enemies here. Yeah, they're they're sleeping. These are actually pretty cute though. Ah! Oh my god! Never mind, never mind. You guys are not cute. You guys are not cute. Don't you dare. He just rushed at me. Well, if I would have taken him, gotten hit by the last I have to destroy their backs. I remember. Dude. <laughs> I am very vulnerable now. Oh, I got greedy with the... One more. Ah, the other one didn't charge you. <gasps> I have 30 missiles. If I'm... I'm gonna take you out. From a distance, no matter what. Oh my god, that is such a trap! Is that little hidden area in this 2D section? I call it a 2D section. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god, I made Nemo. I made Nemo worried now. No! <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is the start of the Magmore Caverns. There's no save room. Fuck me. Why? I don't care. Get me out of here. Go out. Get out of my way. I don't wanna... No. This is... This is... No patience, but... Fuck this. 
I don't feel as bad as when I died to Flogma though, because it was... I, this time I don't have to go back for different sections for upgrades. It's just a straight run through this. I just remembered, I just remembered. Oh, this is great, this is great, because I remember... Uh, uh, yeah, because there's a pillar like this in an area that you can destroy. Like you can destroy, like here. I don't think it's this one, though. Really good that I remember this. It does look weird, though. Yeah, I think...
that's a common one. I don't know how common with the series, I just know the songs in Super Metroid. I think it was introduced in that game. Where's this asleep? Yeah, the turrets. Lovely. I guess we could go the other round first, cause I know, I know the other one. That's wrong, so. Ow! Yeah, I think I'm actually supposed to go here. Hey, he's above the ground now. So I mean, I can't tell. Yeah, I prefer it to speak. Maybe it's a good thing I do it. I did get a hint. But I think it just told me to go to him. What? 
Talon Overworld. Okay. I can go back there. Oh, I see. This is... Oh. I see. Yeah, but I need to go back to Talon Overworld for an upgrade. Spider Ball, I see. Oh, now that I think about it, this might be where I need the Spider Ball. Like, where I get the Spider Ball. No, I need the Spider Ball to get through here. Hold on. Grappling hook was not the next. Right, so, it would have been great to find a save point. I am low on health. Dude! I'm very low on health. Don't! <sighs> this is the second time I'm gonna have to redo Magmore Cavern's beginning. Are you kidding me? God! Thank God I didn't pick Bard mode, because that would have been even worse. <laughs> Alright. Now I know there's only one way to get. Just one in a little. The big loop with the floor you can go under. And I'm gonna head straight to Fenbrana. As I said yesterday, the way face on mind face on mind works, it is just a, pretty much a, a gauntlet of enemies. So you just have to and there's no saves until you get to like the end part. Which I really like because it's like an end game challenge in a way. Yeah, so I better prepare for that. But this is more I'm still in like First time, I got greedy and failed a full rack getting a goodie. I could get early. It's just lack of save rooms. <laughs> I don't want to do this shit again. Come on. Let me through. <laughs> Why? What are you trying to hide? Maybe you just like kicking. Take this route when the other one is free. No, you fu I don't have time for this. Nemo's looking at me like something's up, and I'm yelling. <laughs> He's wondering if I'm yelling at him or something.
just dumb mistakes. First try. Oh 
Oh my god, so impatient. Ow, no. This really doesn't make sense, but... It's better than going, leaving the area just for them to reappear. Consider my favorite ice level. I love Frost Walrus level in X4. Um, this level is one of my favorites. Maybe a Sonic level? Oh, yeah, Ice Camp is nice. Mostly because of the music. <laughs> I've always liked that one, like, that one galaxy in Mario Galaxy 1. It's been forever since I played that game. I, I didn't really play much of it. But I really loved, I really liked the uh, Ice and Fire World. Mostly because of the ice flower. <laughs> ice skating on. Peak from Banjo Tooie. I know, I know the majority of player or people would say would go with um, uh, what's it called? Free CC Peak. Yeah, the Ice World in Banjo Kazooie because it's very Christmas themed. Ah, I prefer. It focuses more on ice. And 
has a lot of account. There's Zelda, there's um, pretty much only Snow Peak for the 3D games. Maybe I should have taken that, used that to my advantage. Die by four missiles? Are you kidding me? Five? I do feel bad exposing their attacks. It's like it hurts. I don't care, you killed me last time. The first time. As I said, they are kind of cute. Uh, the, the ice cavern and crystal caves. That's the, that's not that's not exactly. It looks like an ice level, but it's more crystal themed. Is that the only one from Donkey Kong 64 that's ice themed? Am I having such a hard time thinking of ice levels? I love. I mean, ice levels are easy to spot, spot out of a lineup. Yama? Um, not so much like uh, what I've mentioned before, but uh, in Modern Warfare 2, the cliffhanger mission is probably my favorite mission in the series, just because of. Mostly because of nostalgia and just loving how it was handled. The memorable moment, moments in it. Hey, bird mites. Ooh, hello. I think I know what I need here. And it's very- that- I'm gonna get that very late. This is pretty well hidden, so... Is it noticeable on the map? A little bit. Gotta remember that. I need to check out what the... What's up there? Is there a fire emblem setting? Snow? Emma! I like how Regal is snow theme. I know what's uh, what's coming in this area. I'm kind of I'm really looking forward to it. It's kind of a break into a laboratory area, like factory area. Oh god, dang it! That has me that has me uh, wondering though. Can I scan these? Looks like something I could scan. Yeah, I remember there being pretty weird enemies in like a hallway like this. 
not these guys. They look like... I mean, I had a quick look at them and they look like a blue lobster. <laughs> like, a split second look. Is it revealing? What? Why does it go out here? This is just a... What? <sighs> Maybe I'll be on the other side of the place. Okay, I'm... I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to fight one by one every single one of them. You guys, as long as I know what I, what I need to do. Oh my god, no saber in sight. Just like the previous area, and there are big guys here too. How much am I supposed to go through before a saber appears? I would have died here regardless. Ow! Has charged me. They really have like. I'm not going back again. D -d -d That's final. No, go away. I am not replaying this again. Dude! Okay, you're, you're starting to piss me off. Please be a safe room, please. I swear to God, if you're... Entryway. Well, that's the only way I can go, though. <sighs> My God, why? At least these guys. Yeah, there's always must be two of them. It's getting ridiculous now. I'm about to get the fuck the boost ball, but no save. Uh, are you kidding me? I'm about to get an upgrade, and if I die, I have to go get it again. I'm gonna farm health. Screw this. <laughs> this is ridiculous. God, are those down here? Are you kidding me? Yeah, that is full on a trap if you go for it. That is just... Oh it might be the way that I have to, like, backtrack to the Magmar Cavern's beginning for a save room, and then... God! This is stupid! Really stupid! <sighs> These enemies mess me up real, real bad. I expect I have to go back to the overworld next, because... What am I even supposed to... Oh, I have to go down here. Really? I better wait for him to turn around. Because I'm not doing this shit again. This is stupid. <laughs> Run, 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 run. Go away, go away, go away! Give me health. Thank you. Oh my god, gaining back health is... Oh! 
I know it's very it's a huge problem in the first game. Oh, uh, if I could get a health refill when I get the upgrade, that would be the perfect way to counter this. Alright, six platforms, this is a big deal. What? I just wanted more health, damn it! Getting greedy is a bad thing. Fuck. I don't get a single. Oh, I feel bad for you. <sighs> is it gonna come back? Do I have to leave the area? Thank you. I like this. Like, I can scan the platforms. <sighs> I like this. Platforms that give away. Man, is it not needed at this point? Please heal me. I don't care about the boost ball, just heal me, please. <laughs> those half pipes are for. Really? Alright, let's get a little... Let's play some Tony Hawk. <laughs> I mean, those games were popular around this time. I don't blame them for doing this. At least you guys are generous with the health. Dang it. God. I swear to God. You stay away from me. I hate you. I HATE YOU! Haven't there been a save for getting the upgrades at least? God, this is so stupid. Why have an enemy like this? That really messes you up if you, you're not careful enough while having their weak point be their back. I get it, it fits the area, but god damn it. Put a safe when you get to this area instead. That would have fixed all of this. I don't have to like, waste so much time being so careful. This guy won't move! Can I just climb this room? He's camping me out! Are you fucking... Just go to sleep, please. Well, let's always remember, this part is not kind to you when I replay this game. Kill me. Self defense. <laughs> My God. I'm not gonna go out there. No. My health is way too low. I'm just gonna go away. Yeah, go to bed. Go to sleep. Let's go. Okay. 
Right as I had to go quiet, just like yesterday. <sighs> what does that mean, though? Is just is it just to show he's still around, or is it like? Cause I know you need to. Huh? No, I know why. I know why. I need to go back to the overworld for. <sighs> I need to go back to the overworld. The half pipe just so I can continue here to double jump. That's a little unneeded. Like backtracking just because backtracking. I see what you mean. No one hurts me now because I am. You didn't look in here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No. Please don't tell me this is. Oh! Oh my god, I didn't see the door, damn it! Are you kidding me this whole time? Sorry if I got loud. Thank god I found it now, though. Why? <sighs> Was there something I saw? here that I didn't want to go for, because I want to be careful. I don't think so. I can't believe that. 
So much could have been avoided. Yeah, because the first time I died, I went past this area, so if I found that save room, I wouldn't have died to begin with. And we would have been on... We would have been to the overworld already. Jeez. I wonder if you can go into... No. Well... I can get the artifact when I go back to the caverns. When I have the ship. <sighs> yeah, we're just gonna head back to our ship. I know this ship has a much bigger presence than Prime 3. Like, you can have it control... Like, the game starts inside the ship. I think, at least. You do spend time in the ship just... activating stuff and, like, choosing the planet. And you can activate it to, like, attack on autopilot. Yeah, the ship is... much expanded. Why? Okay, let's let's do what I should have done earlier. Let's use this area for it. Let's actually practice here. fall down to.
can see the missiles as well. I see, I see, I see. It's a balance game. Yeah. That's cool. Oh my god, do I have to... No, 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 no. I thought I had to, like, make a jump and land on the safe. And now I'm starting to feel like this isn't as big a deal. Yes, it is annoying looking all around, only to see that you need to go back to Talon Overworld. But it's not even that long a trip. I guess going back I might feel different with. Where we need to be because half point. 
But I'm gonna go back. No, I'm gonna. I'll get to the ship. So. It's only Hawk and Steers. This is pretty fun though. You just charge it when you're. Yeah, you just charge it. Ready for when it hits the ground. I don't seem to do it on I'm close to doing it, right? But I guess that. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure not many people saw it. I got the I got this boost bolt here. Wait, I remember there being a similar half pipe in the beginning. Pretty sure most people don't remember. I have to wait till the game tells them. I'm well done. This is, um... Learning the upgrade 101, pretty much. The default way. Oh, just have the way you can get out of the room. Be tied to the... Upgrade you just got. Oh, I think that's just a shortcut. Wait, check the here. Oh, wait, I don't remember this. I see, I see. Yeah, these are... I'm not even supposed to fight these guys yet. So... Remember the ship at the start? We get to explore. Ooh, face off. That's cool. Scan it. Or something. Used to be the same type of thing. Found on the space pirate. Research for you. back that way. Like the beginning part of the game, just destroyed and submerged in the water. It's really cool. But I need the gravity suit for that. So we know I'm gonna go through that without the gravity suit. It's probably not possible. <sighs> uh, gotta go quiet any second now. Again, that's 
Let's grab this here. I like how I like how it's a, pretty much a water suit. Like it only works. The only benefit is uh, moving, moving more freely in water. But it's called a gravity suit. It's not tied to the name of the water base. I like that. Maybe it makes you like the set.
about these games. <sighs> I wanted to wait for this area because it's pretty special. I'm expecting a cinematic here. Just look at this place. Yeah, this is tied to the end game quest. Because you need all of these over here to be able to access the final boss. Also an awesome penultimate boss. Truth, the first of twelve. Collect it, then scan the totems here for clues, and at least they give you clues. I like that. Oh yeah, it literally tells me there. Sebas, that's what. The, here's the something. This is such a cool location. I'm amazed they didn't choose this comes to a stage in Smash from this game. I mean, the opening boss is cool. I don't...
and I am back too. I don't know when you came back, but I, I just saw your... <sighs> your message. There's only one minute left of this song, so why not? You know, I love X5 soundtrack. And I consider it close to being as good as... I mean, the reason why I consider X4 my favorite is because it's my favorite game. <laughs> I'm biased. Um, I think X5 has the best soundtrack. Like overall, though. But, like, the second half of Mavericks, this is the only track I really like. I don't know, they're either slow, quiet, or just very atmospheric. They go against what the first half. Because the first half are all awesome. I think if I had to pick my favorite, though. Well, Izzy Glow, uh, Shining Firefly has been my favorite for a long time. Duff McWaylin is close behind, though. I love that song. Okay. Wow, that's loud. <laughs> so yeah, I went to the end game place. I had the missile door I couldn't go through. This is a really pretty place. Probably the most memorable part of this game. Location wise. It's pretty much the most important part. Because it's here where you need to get all the artifacts. In order to get to the final boss. And I just got one of them. It was just sitting here. Um, something really cool is that they give you hints for them in these statues. Translating just rooms. High atop our ruined home became the nest of a great beast and a source of corruption. Many chosen spirits have been drawn to this tainted place. Release their bond to the world. Wild. Sun shape? That has to be show some of your The heat of Magmore was a test for many warriors. A shrine in their honor holds the artifact of strength. I think that's the one I'm gonna get first. Aside from the one I just picked up here. Yeah, that's the one I have to double jump to get. One is so ridiculously hidden. Like, no joke. You have to go through half of um, the infiltration part into the laboratories of. Um... <sighs> Why can't I remember the name now? Vendrana? The ice place? Like that? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna head there soon. Yeah, I just need to. That's what I'm gonna use the double jump for, I'm pretty sure. To, yeah, laboratory. And like halfway through, you get on, get up on the roof and fight some jetpack enemies. And no joke, you have to. There's a tower right next to that part. You have to shoot it with a super missile, I think. The tower crashes down, and it just perfectly aligns, so you can like use a morph ball to go over to the castle because it opens up a morph ball path. And that's how you get one of the artifacts. That's probably the most ridiculous. Yeah. This is the one. Invaders have claimed for Dawn as their own. Tower sits atop their fortress. Collapse it to reveal the chamber. Okay, this is a very nice hint. It really is. It is a nice hint. What a coincidence that I started talking about it. And it was the one that was scanned. No, 
Oh, this is the one I've... This is the one I missed of the sun shame before. Yeah, that is definitely the one I was thinking of. Though. Why can't I scan this one? Sounds like a place I'm gonna head to. Like in Vendrana. This is a hall. I don't know though, I remember getting stuck there. I hope I don't get stuck again. Why can't I. I guess these are just. I'm guessing I haven't gained access to the area yet. Because I know there are one. like two or three, and. Minus. There are thir 12 in total. Grow with lifelines. Feel the pillar beneath the waves. I have no clue what that one is. I'm pretty sure this, this game made strategy guides. Like strategy guide makers that sell like their own strategy guides very happy because this. I mean, most people look up a guide to get to the final boss. I did too. Seek his unseen entrance. Okay, this one's stupid too because it's just a random. So you get a you get different uh, vi visor upgrades. There's the normal one, the scan one, which is this one. Then it's a thermal visor and one that lets you see hidden things, and that one that lets you see hidden things. You have to use it in a random part, like climbing part in Fendrana, and see that, oh, huh, I can see a door behind that wall. You blow it open, there's no hint to it as well. It says it's all cave at least. Yeah, this you just have to blow open a random wall to get this one. <laughs> That's pretty dumb. I think that's it. Yeah, I can tell the ones that aren't able to be scanned are areas I haven't gone to yet. <clears throat> there is one that's hidden in a very cool place in the mines. I think you have to, like, release a mini boss in the phase on mines and kill it for the artifact. I really like that. Alright, back, back to the journey, the adventure. I really like this part right here, it's really, it gives me, um, Halo vibes. And I don't have much experience in Halo, like, outside a little bit of the first game, and Reach was the Halo game I I really got into. Hell, I played it so much that it was definitely the cause of my first white Xbox game being Red Ringed. <laughs> Hell, I made it to the to the major level without access to online because I it was a shipped console, so no online. Yeah, playing playing online on like matchmaking, deathmatch and such, it is heavily. I can get the most XP from it, so I got it to a pretty high level without that. Just playing the same thing over and over, and then all of a sudden the whole screen got green. It like became completely green. You could see through it though. Actually, should I head back there? No. I'm gonna head back there after I get the wave beam, so... Fendrana is... priority. I 
love this double jump though. You can, make, you can just skip certain platforms, like jump to the one next. Oh, it's so nice. Really makes platforming more fun. Oh yeah, you have to hit it back to him. That's that's a cool enemy. I think this is the only place where you can find the fight him. I should just go down here. Just jump down. Ow. Pew. If you know if you know the fastest way, then it really isn't a big issue. It is pretty stupid how you just the only way to get um, progress is to go back though. I don't hold it too much against the game. It's not too big an issue for me. Zero mission though, I mean, all through it. I really like Zero mission. It was really cool. <sighs> and then there's only Super Metroid, and that's all my, my uh, experience with the series. <laughs> Embarrassed to admit it. I said this yesterday too. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is the one I always remember. Now I just have to find ten more. The second of twelve. <laughs> Hello, bird person. Samus grew up with bird people. Oh my god, it looks so cool, dude! It almost looks like it's... Yeah, when, you, when you're when you completely still, you see that it's just... Never mind, it moves. It That's cool, though. Oh, that's perfect. Love that. Yeah, I can tell I've gotten to the point where the game gets... where I'm having a hard time getting away from it. Like, wanting to stop. Yesterday was different. I was, like, overwhelmed with the tutorials and just... going after upgrades, going back and forth. This is more freedom and just making progress and more challenge. Even though I was a dum dum and forgot that and missed a save room that would save a lot of frustration. Like this cave right here is not even hard to miss. Yet I did. Literally, the answer to my frustration was there all along. Ow! I saw you there. Go away. Okay. Can I make the jump here? It looks like I can. Please always look for suspicious to me. I know one of them can be destroyed. Alright, let's head into the cool part of this one. I think... Actually, I think Vendrana is the biggest part of the game. Yeah, the overall world is small. Jesus Christ! Are you... Are you annoyed that you're stuck in here or something? There's no point in bombing here. Yeah, this is what I thought when I when it said like all all of the fall. I think we're gonna face off against the big version of this enemy. Oh. That's cool though, because I'm I have a boss in it. Oh my god, I just now realized there's a mini-map showing enemies. Like, on the, on the top left. Are you kidding me? Have this, has, has that been the whole time here? <laughs> wow. Oh, come on. No. I don't need it for this, but I don't want to... Yeah, I'm definitely going against the boss in the next, because I know this is the boss room. Oh, sick! I get... Looks like I'm gonna get the... Uh, purple beam. The wave beam. Yeah, I don't want to disable it, because it will be helpful if I do get stuck. Kind of a little... Imagine if something like that 
it was for three houses like Hey, you spent too much time mess messing around and just not take improving your units. Get to it, we use auto battle or something. <laughs> Yeah, I know this. I know this part right here got me, had me confused, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I know exactly what I'm supposed to do. Cause I just remembered it. Cool fountain. Yeah, it took me so long to figure out what I'm, what I was supposed to do here. And then I looked it up and was so annoyed that it was so obvious. Yeah, these right here. statue is flawless. Are you sure about that? Well, let's try it. Never mind. Okay, one of these is... It's gonna be one of these. So. I know that it's one of these. Several stripes fractured. Brainstone object. Damn. Oh my god, this took me so long. And and the hint doesn't tell you about it at all. It just tells you where you need to go, not how to get there. So this had me stuck. I had to look up online. It's a good thing I remember. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I need to break this one, too. Yeah. Here's another one. I don't know, the wave beam is the coolest. And the the upgrade you get for it, which sadly I don't exactly know where, it is ridiculously cool. I always thought I was able to get it. No. I mean I was right on right up on it. I think that was a little slow. It's obvious that I need to fix all of this. I mean, look at the shape of the room. Last time I. It was a big one like this. Fuck boss. I like how.
I know it can power certain um, doors. Like you have to find, you have to use the thermal visor to see the switches through the walls, and then shoot the wall, and then it powers up the door. I don't have that yet, so probably not gonna come into effect. I don't care. I have my favorite looking beam. Is this all there is to this temple area, though? It's weird. Alright, let's raid the space pirate base. This is similar to the face on mines, where it's kind of a gauntlet. So, saving would be a wise choice. Oh, I love how I can take care of them now. So annoying. What? I just want to drop down. I like how you don't have to switch weapons for the doors. <laughs> yes. Okay, wait. It just looks awesome.
Even that charge shot looks sick. Whoa! Oh, I get it. Oh my god! It's because it's, uh, I can only... That is so cool, though! The, each, each of the shots that I fire is... Each of the... Whoa, 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 whoa! Why are you out here? That would be cool, because, like, having an enemy that's, like, it's not too effective with after you get it, so you have to, so you can go back to relying on this one. I like that. Okay. I haven't found a map since the Chozo Ruins. Chapel up there. I see. That's that's where we need to go. Pretty sure I don't think this should I want to save first. I'm gonna head into a very enemy filled area. I should be able to take uh, take a shortcut to the set. No, it looks very high up. Is it? Oh, come on. It's just about... I have to go through that stupid part. 